What's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? J Daisy here with the J Daisy Gaming Channel, and yes, I am here to talk about Far Cry 5. Um, this is going to be the first of uh, of a series. I've been very hesitant to launch, um, but it's kind of been in the back of my mind ever since I, uh, about halfway through the uh, channel of you know the past year so about six months ago this popped into my head as, as they started to pick up popularity i really kind of want to start a podcast um if you don't know my review videos oops, i just touched the mic i apologize my review videos i go into with a small set of notes they're never scripted of course but i do go in with notes um, of po talking points i want to get across of things i want to say um things i really want to hit on um so most of it is not uh, it's it's me. It's a hundred percent me, um, but I don't talk the way I would otherwise. Um, my my habits with talking with friends is very much different, um, and a lot of YouTube personalities would say that it's not uncommon to have that sort of thing. Um, but I've always wanted to do something of just kind of me talking to you guys, the audience, about something I uh, find interesting, find fascinating, or just about my life in general. Um, a lot of you have reached out, to, you know, to talk to me about my own personal life um, and say, hey, you never really talk about your personal life on your channel. It's normally always business. And I do agree. I, I do have, up until this point, been trying to keep it more professional. Um, but that's what this series is going to be about. It's going to be about me talking about me, me talking about the things I like, me talking about the things I don't like. Um, it's going to be opinion-based. It's going to be opinion-based. Um, so I, this will either A, do really well, a lot of people will really like it, uh, or B, will backfire on it. You people will see who I actually am and will hate me indefinitely. Um, and I'm going to roll the dice and take that. Um, I feel I have a lot of, uh, I mean, everyone feels this way, right? Uh, it's not just me. Everyone ha feels their opinion is valid. I mean, look at Facebook, look at Instagram, look at Twitter, look at YouTube in general. Look at YouTube. Look at my channel. I started a channel um, to show my opinions on video games. Th therefore, I believe that my opinion matters. Um, same with anyone else. I mean, Boogie. His, he believes his opinion and it's nothing wrong it's human nature it's it's very basic human nature you want people to care about you um and what what you think when i was in uh psychology classes um if you don't know i have a um associate's degree in criminal justice with a minor in uh psychology uh and my criminal justice degree is a focus in pre-law um very lengthy title saying, hey, I know a little bit about law, and I know a little bit about psychology, and a little bit about the criminal justice system. Um, I'm very proud of those degrees, by the way. I'm very, very proud. Anywho, one of the first things you learn in psychology is very basic. If you want to learn, and, and sociology, I took both those classes um, extensively. If you want to learn about someone, if you want to become friends with somebody, if you want to get on the good side of someone, all you need to do is ask them questions about them. People absolutely love to talk about themselves. Um, whether they want to admit it or not. Me, um, my social anxiety issues, I am a very uh, person. When I talk on this channel about me, um, it is because I have gone through a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, and I have learned to be very introspective. I have learned that it pays to know who you are and what you are about. Um and I think everyone, everyone should take understand that and take that advice and take that uh, knowledge. Um, you should know who you are and what you are about. Me, I know I'm a very humble person. I don't like taking credit for anything. I don't like taking taking any kind of pride. And I, I take great pride in my work. But if I, if it goes unnoticed, I'm okay with that. Um, so I work the job I do. I can do a very good job that means a lot to people and be kind of in the background. Um, so. I don't even remember what I was talking about as far as, oh, people like to talk about themselves. So even me, with those kind of issues of those wanting to not be in the limelight, uh, I still want to talk about myself. You know, I still want to talk about my opinion. Everyone does. Um, God, it's, we're already, what, five minutes in, and I haven't even talked about Far Cry yet. Uh, with the name of this video. Um, I just want to set the inaugural voyage 
of this podcast type thing on the right path. I want you guys to know why I'm going to be doing this. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, this will come out every Sunday or every other Sunday. Um, if it's not out on Sunday, say by 5, that seems fair. Um, I will tweet out, I will Instagram out, um, whether that video will not be coming out. Um, so you guys are in the loop. Um, always know you guys are welcome to hit me up on Twitter. A lot of you do. Um, I do have an Instagram. I don't check it almost never. Um, YouTube comments are always a great place. And I do have a Patreon if anyone um, feels the need to support me. Um, it is there. I did a lot of work to it here recently to make it look presentable because I wasn't even using it yet. Um, those are great places to hit me up. Uh, my email is very available. That is my business email. Um, and I check that. It goes to my phone so I can check that very readily. Always feel free if you have questions you would like me to answer on this kind of thing. Video games, all that good jazz. You can send it there. Um, so let's get into it. Now that uh, my base video that I've been kind of watching for inspiration for this uh, podcast has kind of um, is stopping. So I'm, I'm running out of uh, video to watch to talk about because I talk for too long. Um, Far Cry 5 was announced. Um, before this, it was speculated that it was going to be a spaghetti western type movie. Or type game. Apologies. Um, and people were saying that because it was leaked that a well-known videographer for Ubisoft was milling around in Montana, filming at a church, filming at other stuff, looking for different locations. This person is known for making trailers for uh, E3 and stuff, those kind of live action trailers. Um, and pre-rendered bullshit trailers for Ubisoft, and he was in Montana. Um, so people thought, hey, Montana, what's going on in Montana? Nothing but Western. Um, and everybody exploded. The internet exploded saying, that is the dumbest move you could do, which is very true. It is the dumbest move you could make right now, right here, to put out a Western game, a AAA Western game. Let me put that in preference. There's a very good uh, indie game. Western game coming out, Western Worlds, I think, online. That looks really good. Um, it would be a very suicidal move to put out a triple A game in uh, in the Western setting. Um, mainly because uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be coming out. Uh, it has been moved back to next year. Um, not surprising. It's Rockstar. That's not surprising to me at all. Um so it would be suicide for them, Ubisoft, to put out a Western. Um, so everyone was kind of speculating about that. And then a couple days later, they dropped these trailers um, for Far Cry 5. And whoo, I will say I expected the internet to explode a lot more than it did. I really, really did. Um, I expected it just fucking groups to be coming out of the asshole. I expected it just, I watch the news every day, um, and I expected just piece after piece to be out there about this Far Cry 5 uh, I don't think they could have picked a more controversial thing short of doing like a school shooting video game shit Ubisoft god damn and as a white American 22 year old college graduated fully employed employee of the state atheist let's go with atheist that's a good enough word for what i am um even i was taken aback and i say those words because uh also by the way if i run out of i i was playing the trailers and they have since stopped on my side if they stop on your side um and the game that i'll be playing in the background is kha'zix 3 uh it's a very age of empires type game that i was playing i picked it up on sale um, me and my buddy have been playing it quite a bit. That is the gameplay footage in the background. That is what will be linked in the description. Um, back to Far Cry 5. I don't think they could have picked an, a more controversial thing in America to play out. Uh, laying waste Christians? Whoo! It's a bold move. It's a bold move. And if you know me, I love bold moves. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love people to be offended. I bought Hatred. Anyone remember that video game? It was a video game about just killing innocent people for pleasure. Everyone hated it. Bought it to see what everyone hated about. I own a hundred round double drum mag for my AR I built because people hated it. Be the, the fact that someone hates something so in particular that probably has no effect on their lives whatsoever. 
Oh, I love it. It uh, it sets my heart on fire. And I think that's what this is. I honestly am guessing that's what this is. Ubisoft sat down and said, how can we piss off a lot of people really fucking quick and use it to sell copy after copy? I mean, think about it. Think of how many people are going to buy this game just to see what the fuck it is. Just to see, wow, how are they killing these Christians? I'm a Christian. I didn't, I didn't. Oh, it's a, it has to be a marketing move. It has to be. Even as this game has been in development for two, three, four, five years, it's a marketing move for that for the ages. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I will say I expected a lot more crazy responses. Though. It, it was fairly, if you just type in Far Cry Controversy, Boogie's about the only person talking about it. Shit. I mean, and let me get this, let, let me set the record straight. I don't give a shit. I'll play any game, but shit. My library of video games is over 600 long. I'll play anything almost any time. Killing Christians, killing Brown. I mean, it's it's all the same in a video game. It's all an experience that someone decided to put on and try. I'm not condoning that. Don't, God, don't take this wrong way. I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying I want to do whatever I just said. I'm just saying it doesn't make any difference to me whether I'm killing an Argonian in Skyrim or I'm running around uh, 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 it was a Peru, Chile. Uh, what was the country from Ghost Recon? Uh I've heard, whatever country was in Ghost Recon, somewhere in Mexico, killing those people. It's a video game. Doesn't really matter to me at all, at all. Um, so that's now. I don't. I'm gonna play this game either way. I buy every AAA game, physically possible. Um, I just expected just craziness to follow this, so just expected it out the asshole, and it never came. People are fairly reserved. I just don't know if that's just because this hasn't hit. The media cycle, because our wonderful president is being such a fucking dumbass. Um, the, the news cycle is just too busy to deal with this. I mean, it, it's it's crazy. Um, and to those people that do are looking at this video game and going, "Well, I can't be killing a good Christian, a good white Christian." Fuck off, mate. Uh, it's a stupid argument to say I can't kill those people, but I can kill these people. Shut the fuck up. It's a video game. Shut up. Did did you get the message the story was trying to distill? Religion, uh, we could fill an entire podcast with my opinion on religion. Um, but these are the va bad, bad part of the religion, quote, end quote. They're cult leaders that are taking over town and killing innocent people. Um, they're, they're crazy people, right? Right? So why why are all these Christian groups probably going to get up in arms? I guarantee they are. I guarantee they are. I don't know. Uh, what else can I talk about on this first podcast? I'm going to try and shoot for about 20 minutes. That seems like a nice uh, nice length. Um, yeah, Donald Trump, he's doing some great stuff. The Paris Accord, that's if you want to time stay up on this. Uh, first video is coming out on June 4th. Happy birthday, Wyatt. My my little brother, he turned six today. Happy birthday, Wyatt. Um, yeah, Trump, he's doing all sorts of stuff. Here's a thought that rolls around in my head quite a bit, and I'll uh, since this whole podcast is about me sharing my stupidity with you guys. Um, so if you watch the news regularly, like I do, I watch it every night, five o'clock, PBS, Public Broadcasting News, my favorite news channel because they're fucking quiet. I Love it. Uh, people talk one by one, and they share opinions, and they don't get interrupted. It's not like Fox News. It's not even like CNN News. It's quiet, which is what I want from the news. Quiet. Um, it's what I want from life. Quiet. Anywho, uh, if you watch any news cycles, I watch you know a couple of the others um, here and there. It is dominated by Trump right now. You cannot watch it without watching uh, you know Trump pulling out of this Paris Accord. Trump. Firing Comey, which is the biggest pile of bullshit I've ever seen or heard in a political stance. God damn. Uh, you know, Trump's son's investigation. Trump, 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 Um, and it's the same way I feel about video games. When they're focusing, <laughs> Sauron's eye so heavily on one thing, 
what is going on behind them that they don't want you to see. Just, just, this is just me shooting a question out there, shooting an idea. Don't have to agree. Don't even have to like it. Um, you know, it's up for discussion. I'm just saying. The the news, major news is a very bad thing anymore. Um, 24 hour news is horrible. Um, I think we can all kind of agree on that. The news distorts some facts. Um, they focus on other things when they should be focusing on other things. They're businesses. They're businesses most of all. They're, they're advertisements with something in the middle to keep you watching. That's all the news is. That's all YouTube is. Businesses. Um, that's kind of why I like PBS. They don't have ads, so it makes me feel like it's a little more pure. It might not be. That's how I feel, though. Um... So if they're all focusing on this whole Trump thing, this whole, you know, Paris Accord, which is bullshit, this whole Comey thing, which is bullshit, all this bullshit stuff he's doing, um, what's going on that he, they don't want us to find out about? I mean, the news cycle is just dominated by this stuff. You can't watch it without trying to find out what's going on in your own home goddamn town, let alone the world. You know, there uh, a bunch of people just died in, uh, was it Malaysia or Indonesia? from uh, floods. Something like 198 people last I saw died. And there was a couple little blurbs about it, even on PBS, which is fairly good about being like that. It's, it's quick. But people will tur t turn in to see what Trump does. You know, I, I don't like the guy at all. I think what he's doing is an embarrassment. An embarrassment to my country. Um, he's speaking for us in a term... That I don't think the people that voted for him expected him to. He he's the voice for, you know, however many billions of us there is, millions, whatever. And it's just embarrassing to have him be our voice. I think a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people would agree with that statement. Um. And it, I did, I guess the point I'm trying to get him across is you know, I uh, pride myself on being anti-bias. I pride myself on trying to give both sides of every coin as far as my reviews as far as my channel as far as everything really goes i really try to be as honest and unbiased and show both sides as i can it's just in my personality it's just in my nature it's just what i want this channel to be i never want to be bought out um if i get a sponsor i always will give the caveat that i will talk negative about your thing for your product your game whatever as soon as i will talk positively about it but uh but man you know, just be careful out there, guys. You know, make sure you fact check everything. Make sure you know where all your sources are coming from, especially here on YouTube with all that, uh, the whole Wall Street Journal bullshit that went down. God, all the bugs going around and taking away all the advertisement. Over the, you know, you know it's, it's more important now than ever to, uh, you know, not be speaking out your ass. Which a lot of people have, you know, 98% of the people in the world have a problem with. Um, not just in this country, everywhere. Everywhere has that problem. People just talk to hear themselves talk, like I am doing now. You know, but I don't think I've said anything yet um, as a fact that can't uh, can't be corroborated. Um, it's uh, scary out there. But, you know, we need to come together now more than ever. Um, as a country, as a nation, as a continent, as a hemisphere, as a planet, as a solar system. Wow, yeah, that, that got pretty crazy there, didn't it? Um, we're really all in this together. I always say that at the end of every video, and I mean it. We're all in this together. Um, we're all just on this little dirt ball spaceship we got. Um, so don't make sure to always look for the helpers. You know, Mr. Rogers. And I think that's going to end it for this video. I uh, apologize slash am proud of this. I, I'm very excited for this podcast thing. Um, I think I have a fairly interesting slash boring life. I have fairly slash good slash bad slash uh, mediocre opinions about things. Um, and I can't wait to share those with you. I can't wait to hear the feedback um, and the, the community that uh, will spawn from this. I really, really can't wait to hear from you guys. Um, and thank you, sincerely, sincerely to everyone that watches these. Um, being, this year on YouTube has been great. Um, it makes my hobby, uh, feel not like a hobby I do alone, but a hobby I do for others. 
Um, this and the other hobby I do um, really kind of help me with a lot of my own personal opinion, my own personal problems. Um, it gives me something to focus on. It gives me something to do. It gives me something to make me feel part of something. And I do greatly appreciate that. Um, but as always, we're all in this together, guys. And I will gladly see you in the next one. In the next one. Um, as always, check me out on Twitter if you want to, you know, I try to post there whether a video, how many videos will be coming out that week or not. Um, you know, or a Patreon, you know, feel free to support me there. Every little bit helps. I have a full-time job, and that's why some videos may get delayed. Um, but that's what helps support this since, you know, it's not my full-time job. But, you know, if, if, if someday my Patreon or whatever sponsorships or whatever gets so good that I can live off this, that'd be great. Um, but don't ever feel like that. I'm not, as long as YouTube can stop giving me any money whatsoever, which they pretty much have, I'm still going to be here, guys. As long as their servers don't kick me the fuck off, I'll be here. So, I will end this. I'll stop blabbering. As always, we're all in this together. See you in the next one.